Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today I'm going to show you how to liquefy with Photoshop and Illustrator. All right, so first we're going to create the lines in Illustrator. So go to the field, select the field, click on the colors. I'm going to go with a blue and go to the stroke and click on the none and then click on the fill again. So it's going, on the, it's going to be on the top. Select the rectangle tool and draw a line like this. I'm going to zoom in, press and hold Alt, drag it down, also press Shift. And from here, press Control D. I'm gonna go with like five colors. So it's like four, five. Yeah. So this is gonna be blue. This is gonna be a lighter blue, orange, and something different. I'm gonna go with a pink, like this. And I'm also gonna make a white. I don't know. I'm gonna make this white. And also I'm gonna drag these out so, so I'm gonna see the white also. So select all of these, press and hold Alt, drag it down until they intersect where you can see the eight pixels. It's like an eight pixel <coughs> uh, distance between the lines. So I'm gonna press Ctrl D again and again and again. Right click group and from here press Ctrl C. So it's gonna copy. We're gonna copy this to Photoshop. All right, so we're in Photoshop now. I'm gonna press Ctrl V. So as you can see, a window is gonna pop up. I'm gonna go with pixels, click OK, and press and hold Alt. So it's gonna scale it up. This way, we're gonna scale up and press Enter. <clears throat> so far, it looks like this. I'm gonna go to the layers, gonna repaint the black, gonna go to the solid color from here, and go with black, click OK. I'm gonna delete here the background, press delete, select both, press and hold shift and select the second layer also, right click, merge layers. So it's gonna be one single layer, right click, convert to smart object. So go to the filter and go to liquify. All right, select this, the twirl clockwise tool. Increase the size here, you can uh, see you can increase the size in here. I can go with 500 and just start twirling like so. Don't go too crazy, just, you know, experiment a little. Look how cute they look. Okay, so now we got these empty spaces with the squares, you know, I'm gonna go with this, the forward warp tool. Decrease the size a little and just pull these out so we don't have those little squares going on, so it's not empty there. All right, so there's like another thing, for example, if you don't like this and if you want to go back, you can, for example, reset all or you can go to reconstruct, click on it and you can decrease the amount and it's basically going to go back to its default slowly to the straight lines. So I'm going to go back with the 100%, click OK, click OK. And basically, this is how you achieve this trick. You also can double click here on the smart object. It's gonna open up the layer with the straight lines. And from here you can do some, you know, new things. For example, I'm gonna create a new copy out of, it, out of this. I'm gonna press Ctrl T, scale this down. So I'm gonna make some thin lines. See that? So these are thin, these are thick. I'm gonna go to File, Save. And go back so as you can see this part is really thin and these are like more thick and uh, You can play around however you want it. All right, so this was it Thank you so much for watching and if you're new on the channel Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos. Have a good day. Bye. Bye